Why is zero poverty the first and most important sustainable developmental goal set by the United Nations? Well, it's simple. If you increase the income of an individual and take them out of poverty, it has a compound effect in improving every single aspect of their life. This includes good health and well-being, eliminating hunger, and also giving them an opportunity for a quality education, and ultimately all other 17 global goals. It's the most important goal with the greatest universal impact. Now, where does nuclear technology come into the question? Well, nuclear tech plays in a really important role in eliminating poverty in today's day and age and also years onto the future, while at the same time mitigating the effects of climate change. Getting to net zero isn't easy, but with nuclear energy, you can do it in a safe, environmentally conscious and affordable way. In this video, I'll be delving into why unreliable and expensive electricity access leads to poverty. Why are we living in the year 2022 and nearly 700 million people have access to zero electricity? Yes, that's almost double the population of the United States around the world have access to no electricity. I'll be answering those questions. Hey friends, my name is Osama. I have a background in nuclear engineering and on this channel, I help demystify nuclear technologies by simplifying them. I also share the benefits of nuclear technologies, especially how they are a sustainable resource that can be used for the benefit of all of mankind. Why is unreliable and unaffordable electricity access leading to poverty across the world? Well, like I said, 700 million people across the planet don't have access to any electricity and hundreds of millions more have access to only unreliable electricity sources. A majority of these impoverished populations live in sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia. Existing economic studies, they point to a direct correlation between electricity consumption and economic growth. That means as electricity access and consumption increase in a society, in turn, it stimulates economic growth. The two go hand in hand. Electricity access leads to economic growth and economic growth leads to reduced levels of poverty. Electricity access opens up opportunities for people, such as enabling them to start a small business, educating themselves, manufacturing goods, also integrating small improvements in their life, which enables them to focus on getting out of these impoverished conditions. Where does nuclear energy come into the question? Well, around 440 nuclear power reactors across the world are operating right now, delivering low cost electricity and reliably. They're working 24 seven to deliver clean energy. Now, reliability for electricity access is very important since when the sun isn't shining and the wind isn't blowing, nuclear power plants are running. They maintain base load energy for nations across the world. In Bill Gates' best-selling book, How to Avoid a Climate Disaster, as you know, Bill Gates is an incredible resource for climate change. Highly recommend this book. His one sentence case for nuclear power is, it's the only carbon free energy source that can reliably deliver power day and night through every season, almost anywhere on earth that has been proven to work on a large scale. MIT researchers explored around 1000 scenarios for getting our planet to net zero emissions. Now, out of all of these affordable paths, they found that nuclear energy must be a necessary requirement in every single one of them. Equitable access to energy needs to be accessible across the world. We need electricity to be cheap and affordable to get people out of poverty. And although nuclear power plants are initially expensive to build, they are expensive assets, they are relatively cheap to run and fuel. These power plants are incredible long-term investments with the operations of nuclear power reactors being able to operate for 80 years or more. Yes, it's incredible. All right, so why don't more people have access to electricity? Well, the reason is the cost of electricity. The other main reason is rural areas, which simply don't have infrastructure developed. Now, access to unreliable electricity or none at all makes it very difficult for people at an individual level to find opportunities to take themselves out of poverty. Now, lack of electricity also leads to time poverty. All right, so electricity is an incredible medium for populations to increase their productivity at scale. So many of these areas in life we personally take for granted, but let's highlight some areas we may not realize how electricity improves our productivity in our day-to-day -day lives. Let's start with a very simple example, which is heating your home, lighting your home, and also cooking at home which are all necessities. Now for those in privileged households, these three can be accomplished with a flick of a button and electricity access. Now with those without electricity access, you've got to make a fire where, which needs expensive resources and also a lot of time to start up that fire. This goes for simply lighting your home at nighttime to maybe study. This can really jeopardize a quality education and also heating your home, a necessity like cooking your food. Now other household chores like washing your clothes, harvesting your crops, 
having to walk several kilometers to the nearest drinking well. Whereas for those in Western households, you know, we can flip with a flip of a tap, have access to clean drinking water, takes up a lot of the waking hours in an individual's day. So instead of investing your time, which is a finite resource on day-to-day -day survival, electricity access grants people both the time and energy to focus on building businesses, trading, bringing sustainable streams of income into their households. And these compound effects can take entire nations out of poverty. So the impacts of electricity access is powerful. And a little bit later in this video, I'm going to be sharing some historical examples of how nations were able to take themselves out of poverty for millions and millions of people just by electricity access alone. All right, so let's jump into why nuclear innovation in energy can help. As we speak, specialized technologies like small modular reactors or short for SMRs are being developed for both large scale industrial applications and also for small scale applications like that for rural communities and small grids. Now, this is incredible because those desperately in need of electricity access live in those areas. These micro reactors, they don't need to be refueled for at times 30 years or more, which means less maintenance costs and also affordable electricity access. They also mitigate the emissions that are produced for electricity production. So for a lot of rural communities across the world, especially in Canada's Arctic communities, but also other communities, which are hard to reach, they run off of diesel fuels, which are extremely emissions heavy. A lot of these reactor designs can also be designed to be load following. So pairing them up with renewable resources to make entire grids go to net zero. This comes with the understanding that with nuclear energy technologies, we're only on the third generation of nuclear power reactors. With every generation of reactor technology, you see considerable improvements in performance, economics, and also the cost. So things are only bound to improve. Also, nuclear power generation in general and historically is only 70 years old. That means there's a lot of space for innovation in this industry. This is a very new technology for humans, which means that it has a lot of room for both innovation and development. In many places across the world, nuclear energy is cost competitive with that of fossil fuel resources, which means it's very affordable. When it comes to the cost of waste disposal, decommissioning, and an entire life cycle cost, the nuclear energy industry actually includes that into their operational costs. So this is a very unique feature amongst the nuclear energy industry of the level of accountability that they have in regards to that of waste management, in regards to decommissioning these power plants and including that those costs upfront. Now, what does this mean for nations across the world? Well, it means access to reliable electricity and also to that of a considerable reduction in the rate of poverty across the world. So taking people out of poverty, providing them electricity is so, so important. So next, let's get into a case study of how nations across the world have reduced poverty rates significantly due to increasing access to electricity. And we'll start off with South Korea. Now, South Korea, as you know, is a very high income economy. The country took a focused effort toward electrification, which increased its electricity access for rural households from that of 12% in 1965 at an all time low to that of 98% by that of 19 1979. Yeah, that's incredible. Went from 12% to that of 90% within around 10 to 15 years time. This resulted in significant improvements to that of quality of life in these rural households. Okay. And also their average household income increased year after year at an average of around 27% per year in the 1970s. So a 27% increase in household income year by year, simply by introducing a reliable electricity access is a considerable improvement to the lives of South Koreans, especially to those living in rural communities. So South Korea's adoption of nuclear energy is has played a really important part for that transition as well. So next, let's share the story of China. Now, similarly, China did something very similar to that of South Korea, where they increased electricity supply and reliability in the rural areas. Now, this form went from 61% access to electricity in their er rural areas in that of 1978 to that of 97% access to electricity for, for these areas in the year 1997. It was observed in China that many provinces across the country that had greater investments in rural electricity infrastructure experienced poverty reduction rates at a more fast pace and also had higher incomes per household. Now, within the last 10 years, China was able to drive 100 million people out of poverty. So electricity access played a very important role in this. A lot of this electricity came from that of fossil fuels, but now you see a change in that tide. You see the country developing more 
nuclear power plants. So really had a great time with this video, uh, doing the research and putting this together. Hope you get the chance to check out some of my other videos related to how nuclear power technologies operate. You can check them out right here. Hope you enjoy. Thanks again. Take care. Bye.